Okay, so I'm going to put it on the second fret, fifth string, A string. Then I'm going to tuck the next finger underneath on the second fret, D string. Now, this shape, what my goal is, is to be able to move it anywhere on the fretboard. But I move it as a unit. I'm not, I'm not thinking of it as two different fingers. I'm thinking of it as one. All right? Now, I can put this shape anywhere. If I go straight up and down in the same fret, it's called a vertical motion. Now, here's E minor, by the way. This is A9. This is a form of D called a D major 9. If I go down one more in that shape, listen. Kind of ugly. I call that dissonance. Do not think this, this dissonance is useless, it's not. However, if I take that shape and move it up one place, and this is horizontally, I found a consonant. The other thing about shapes you want to keep in mind is that I should be able to do them with any set of fingers. They're going to sound the same. Now, the next shape is simply dropping this down, the second finger. So I've get that, well, the sound doesn't matter. It's the shape that matters. It, this here is a, an E suspension. Kind of almost begs for me to do that thing, but there it is. Now if I drop it down vertically, I get this A and, a and 7. If I drop it down vertically again, I get a D6. So if you're looking for a D, quick, 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 there's, there's a way to start getting your D. In fact, D to A is a one to five relationship right there. And remember, I can think vertically or horizontally. If I go up, 